So again, we'll start this morning in a comfortable seated position and we will turn the playlist on and the count of three, two, one, <coughs> opening March 26th, press, press play. And you're welcome to place a block, a, a cushion or something underneath your seat to take the curvature out of your lower spine. And then you can rest your hands on your thighs or you're welcome to rest one hand on a thigh and take the other hand to your heart. If it's comfortable for you, go ahead and let your eyes fall closed. Feel your body breathing. The fastest way to freedom is to feel your feelings. Beginning with just the dance of aliveness that's here in the body, heart beating, body breathing. Maybe a slight smile at the mouth. And a reminder that you are the universe, truly. You're not separate from any of it. You might see the oceans, forests, mountains, desert, landscape. Let it live inside of you. And breathe a little deeper. Saturating the body with the life force breath. Let it fill the rib cage and draw all the way up to the clavicles. Notice the momentary pause and maybe extend that before you let the breath fall down the same channel in an exhalation. Fundamentally, this is a breathing practice. My biggest request is that you do your best to stay intimately connected with your inhales and your exhales. And that when, if you get lost into thought or go somewhere else, that you just come back. Go ahead and flutter your eyes open. You can remove the block and We'll just come forward onto our hands and knees into a tabletop position. So wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and let's move the body in some cat-cow movement. So go ahead and sink your belly down towards the ground, lift your heart up, exhale, navel spine, space between the vertebra. Inhale, find your way back into your cow pose. Exhale, round, round, round. And back and forth. Movement is such an important part of emotional and spiritual processing. So while I'm offering guides, it's your body to move through space however feels nourishing to you. Come to a neutral spine position 
and send the right leg long behind you. Inner right thigh spins up. Press the ground away and feel for sending the space between the shoulder blades upward. Keep that activation as you reach your left arm forward. Exhale to curl in, elbow to knee, round the spine. Inhale, lengthen, extend. Exhale, curl. Inhale, lengthen, extend. Exhale, curl in, round, round, round. Inhale, lengthen, extend. Go ahead, bend the right leg, catch hold of the top of the foot with your left hand, and then kick the right shin back. Lift the heart up. Extend the arm and the leg long. And drop your hand and your knee back down. Switch sides. Start with the left leg long and organize your organism. Inner left thigh spins up, left pinky toe points down. Fill the space between the shoulder blades with breath as you press the ground away. Right arm extends long in front of you. Exhale, curl in, elbow to knee, round the spine. Inhale, lengthen, straighten. Exhale, curl, round, round, round. Inhale, lengthen, extend. One more time, curl in, round through the spine. Inhale, lengthen, straighten. Go ahead, bend your left leg, catch hold of the top of the foot. Kick your left shin back as you send the heart forward and work the right shoulder head forward a bit too. That's enough, extend the arm and the leg long. Drop your hand and your knee down. Curl your toes under and then just hover the knees about an inch off the mat. Press the ground actively away. Draw the navel in towards the back body. Keep the breath moving as you feel. Feel the thighs turn on, feel the arms turn on. Feel the power and strength in your body. Stay for three. Two, one, downward facing dog. Bridge your hips all the way up towards the ceiling and pedal through your legs. Bending one knee, the other. You can shift your hips from side to side. And shake your head yes or no, maybe fluttering the lips. As you're ready, inhale, roll forward to the top of a plank pose. And again, engage your straight arm scapular strength. That means you're pressing the ground away so much that you fill the space between the shoulder blades with breath. See too that you're engaging the entirety of your palm. Include the webbing between the thumb and the index finger. Fire up through the quads. Always feel free to drop knees. As you're ready, rise your hips again into the downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward, plank pose. Exhale, lower, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, up to you. Inhale, come through cobra or upward facing dog. Quads lift, shoulder blades wrap back. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips rise. Step the right foot forward in between your hands. Drop your back knee down and send the arms up overhead. Anjane Asana. Go ahead and release the hands to frame the front foot. Curl the back toes under and step to the top of your space. Feet hips width apart, catch hold of opposite elbows and ragdoll. Let the trunk of your body hang heavy from the strength of your legs. You're welcome to sway side to side. And then release the hands down by your feet and step the left foot back again, low lunge. Drop your left knee down and reach the arms back up overhead. Anjane. 
Exhale, release the hands, frame the front foot. Back toes tuck, step back to your plank position. Lower halfway, chaturanga, elbow seal the sides. Inhale, upward facing. Again, knees, chest, chin, and cobra. Beautiful alternatives. As you're ready, rise hips, find downward facing dog. Heels disappear behind the balls of your feet. Melt the chest back. And when you're ready, step your left foot forward. Drop your right knee down. Reach the arms all the way up overhead. Anjaneyasana. Beautiful. Hands come to frame the left foot. Step the right foot next to the left foot. Catch hold of opposite elbows. Let it go. The fastest way to freedom is to feel your feelings. So that isn't telling the circumstance. It's allowing the sensations to come up. We tend to hide from a shadow because we fear it will consume us. When we allow ourselves to feel it, it leaves. Release the hands down, step the right foot back again. Find Anjana on the left side, the arms go up and overhead. Nicely done. Hands come back to frame your left foot, curl the back toes under, step to your plank position, knees, chest, chin, Ashtanga Namaskar or Chaturanga Dandasana. Cobra or Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog pose. Exhale, Adho Mukha, down dog. Heels disappear behind the balls of your feet. Press down actively through all 10 fingers. Keep the breath big inside of your container. And then as you're ready, rise high to your toes, bend your knees and make your way to the top of your space, hop, step or float. Bend your knees and bring your tush to your heels. Try to create a lot of space to the back body as you work the forehead down towards your knees. Breathe three. Breathe two. And one. Exhale, forward fold. Hips rise. Inhale, send the arms all the way up and around. Gather what you need. Exhale, hands join together at the heart center. Anjali Mudra. Perhaps setting an intention for your practice. As you're ready, inhale, arms come back up and around, palms press, lift thumbs. Exhale, forward fold over two straight legs. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen spine. Plant your hands, hop, step, or float back to Chaturanga arms. Inhale to Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips go high. Take five breaths. Static shape, but still active. Fire up to the quads. Press down and forward to the hands. Nice, rise high to your toes, bend your knees, up, step or float forward. Those of you who like going upside down, you can handstand forward. At the exhalation, you're in the top of your mat, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale as you send the arms back up and around, palms press, look towards your thumbs. Exhale, hands join together at the heart center, Anjali. Twice more like this, inhale, arms come up and around, palms press, with thumbs. Exhale as you forward fold over two straight legs. Inhale, lengthen your spine and look forward. Plant your hands, hop, step or foot back. And again, my handstander is a great place to go upside down. We'll meet together in a downward facing dog with a couple deep breaths. As you're ready, rise high to your toes, bend your knees, hop, step, or float forward again. Great place to go upside down if you want it. We'll meet, Uttanasana, face to the shins. Inhale, yogis, arms come up and around, palms press with thumbs. Exhale as the palms come together at the heart center. One more time like this, inhale, arms rise, gather what you need, feel what you need to feel, and then exhale, take it down, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward. Plant the hands, hop step, float back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Rise high to your toes, bend your knees, hop step or float forward again. Great place to go upside down. 
Play with your handstands on your way to the top of your space. Exhale, forward fold. Toe heel your feet together, and together we'll find a chair pose, Utkatasana. Bend your knees, send your shins back, arms in line with the ears. Keep your legs as they are. Bring the chest over the thighs and the arms long behind you like airplane wings. Keep the legs as they are. Inhale, the arms overhead. Exhale, chest, thighs, arms back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, chest, thighs. Inhale, arms up. Follow your breath a few rounds like this. On the next exhalation, forward fold, interlace the fingers behind your back, reach the arms up and over for a juicy chest stretch. Imagine one day that the palms would touch the ground in front of you. Keep bridging your hips high. Exhale, take hands down, hop, step, or float back, Chaturanga Dadasana. Inhale through upward facing dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg all the way up, inner right thigh spins up, just like you did on hands and knees. Get super long through that right leg. Right knee nose, shoulder shrinks. Down dog split. Right knee, right tricep, shoulders, wrists, back of neck is long. Down dog split. Right knee carves across to your left tricep. Engage your obliques. Down dog split. Right foot steps forward in between your hands. Inhale, high lines, reach the arms up overhead. Inhale, straighten your front leg. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, straighten, squeeze your inner thighs together. Exhale, rebend. Warrior two, hips, chest, and arms open. Deep bend in the front knee. As you're ready, flip the front palm and tip the shape all the way back. Cartwheel the arms down for a low lunge twist. Left hand down, inside edge, right foot, reach your right arm up. Stay here or find your Vashisthasana side plank position. Options to drop left knee under hip, to take the right knee in towards the right thigh, to take an Uchita Hasa variation. Good, right hand back down, exhale. Optional Vinyasa or skip it and find your downward facing dog. And the left leg goes up. Get really long through the left leg. Inner left thigh spins up, left pinky toe points down. Exhale, take knee to nose and shoulders all the way over the wrist. Down dog split, the leg lifts. Left knee, left tricep, shoulders, wrist. Keep pressing the ground away. Down dog split. Now take the left knee over the right tricep, engage your obliques. Down dog split. Step the right foot forward in between two hands. Inhale, the arms rise. You might keep a soft bend in the back knee to lengthen and stretch the right hip flexor. On your inhale, you'll be straight in both of your legs. On your exhale, re-bend. On your inhale, straighten and squeeze the inner thighs together. Exhale, re-bend. Veer out the dress of the two hips, chest and arms open. So yoga is full of all of these warrior poses. What are we fighting for? We had to put our fight in the right place. To be responsible decision makers, responsible stewards of our own internal ecosystem such that that's what our contribution is externally. Go ahead and flip your left palm and tip the shape all the way back, lateral body stretch. We feel it all to free ourselves. Carve the arms down, it's a low lunge twist. Ground actively with your big toe mound of left foot, hug left knee in midline. Stay here, or again, you find Vashisthasana. Variations, drop right knee under hip. 
Take the left foot into tree pose. Maybe you catch hold of the big toes and extend. Left hand returns to the ground. Exhale, lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog pose. Hop, step, or float forward. Again, great place to go upside down if you want it. We'll meet in a chair pose, Utkatasana. Crow pose, Bhakasana. Hands down, knees come to the shelf of your upper arms. Look forward, sternum forward. Always extend the heart, always reaching forward. And for those of you who want to explore Akapana Bhakasana, one legged crow pose, you can take your left knee or the right knee up, extend the leg back. If that's not happening, you just keep exploring. Crow pose. Nicely done, friends. Find your way into a forward fold. Let it go, heavy the head. Enjoy the sensation of head to knee cart. Bend your knees, sit your butt back, find your Utkatasana again, chair pose. Hands come to the heart, twist to the right, left elbow up, side edge, right thigh. Lift the belly and the breastbone up off the front thigh. Forearms create a perpendicular line to the ground. And then go ahead and step your left foot all the way back here in a low lunge twist. Warrior two, hips, chest, and arms open. Warrior reverse. And then yogis cartwheel the hands down and send the right leg all the way up into the air. Down dog sled. We're going to come through vinyasa, option for a chest or chin stand. So, those of you who want to try it, you roll forward, bend the knees in towards the ribs, shift and lift, take flight. We'll meet together in a down dog. And if that's not in your practice, who cares? <laughs> the idea is just to feel your body, you embody your body. It doesn't have to be big or bold or any of that. It just has to be yours. Come high on your toes, bend your knees, hop, step, or float forward. Again, optional handstand. We'll meet together in a chair pose again, Utkatasana. Hands fold together at the heart. Twist over to your left this time. So try and get a good hook. Right elbow, outside edge, left thigh. Belly and breastbone lift. Bottom hand drags in towards you, top hand away. Really good time for twists, like a proverbial release. Imagine twisting out a wet towel. Like a good time to clean your house, your physical body house, your personal home, your space. Heavy onto the left foot as you step the right foot all the way back. Reverse cartwheel the arms open. Find your warrior two position. Flip your left palm and tip the shape back, lateral body stretch. We'll cartwheel the arms down and the left leg goes into the air, down dog split. We'll cut through vinyasa or chin or chest stand. Totally up to you. Do what feels best for your body. We'll meet in a down dog. Yogis rise high to your toes, bend your knees, make your way to the top of your space in whatever way you like. 
and toe heel your feet apart. Slide your hands under your feet, toes come to crevice wrists. Deep bend, draw your limbs in towards your limbs like a lover's embrace, let it be sweet. Keep working to close the gap. Nicely done. Release your hands, toe heel the feet back together. Utkatasana, chair pose, bend the knees, send the arms up overhead. We're gonna do a twist again, hands heart, left elbow, outside edge, right thigh. You've been doing all these twists this week. You can stay right here, just keep working the twist. If you wanna apply, take the hands down and find your way into that side crow. And those of you who are looking to explore even more, you can work to take your right, your right forearm down, right? So the left leg goes out and the foot comes in towards your face as you pivot onto the right forearm. Not required. Once again, we'll forward fold over two straight legs. Huh. Toe heel the feet apart, catch hold of the big toes. Inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, forward fold. Nicely done. Release toe lock, toe heel the tootsies back together. Utkatasana chair pose. And we'll set up for that twist. Option for the side crow. And you can pivot onto the left forearm, sending the right leg towards your face. Nice, friends. I like it. Let it go, forward fold over two straight legs. Inhale, arms come up and around, palms press, look towards the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, lengthen the spine, look forward. Plant your hands, hop, step or float back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the right leg all the way up. Bend your knees, stack your hips, circle out the ankle. Work the right toes towards your left shoulder. Take the right knee to the left tricep, engage your obliques. Down dog split. Right knee, right tricep, option for Konyasana, the arm balance, not required. Right leg in the air, down dog split. Right foot steps forward between your hands. Inhale, high lunge, reach the arms overhead. Yogis, wrap the left arm underneath the right arm. And then wrap your left leg over the right leg. Hook your left hip back, lift the elbows and the forearms forward. Unwrap the arms and the legs, find Ardha Chandrasana, your half moon pose. Warrior reverse, stealthy step back, lean back. Straighten your right leg and then find triangle pose, Trikonasana. Any variations of the arms, whatever helps you awaken more sensation and connect more deeply. Go ahead and swing the left arm in front of the body. Cross the right arm, rotate right toes into face your left toes. Great place to go upside down in a headstand. Great place to hang out and just spread weight evenly to the two, four corners of both of your feet. Nice, and if you're in the air, come back down, perhaps hovering the big toes and itch off the ground. So moving 
with a lot of consciousness. We'll shape shift into Skandasana, the left knee bends, hip to heel. Try to keep your chest lifted and welcome any micro movements. And yogis, go ahead and switch sides. Low lunge facing the front of the space. Come to pyramid pose, straighten the both of your legs. Hook the right hip back, send the left hip forward. I'm gonna step into Paribhrita Ardha Chandrasana. So weight comes to the right foot. Send the left hand forward a bit, reach your left leg up, send the right arm up. Do your best to stack your shoulders as you twist. Spine like a helix, getting longer and longer as you twist deeper and deeper. Nice, take your right hand back down. Standing split position, option for some handstand hops again. Otherwise, just try to balance all on the right foot. You might gather one or both of your hands around the right ankle. And when you've had enough, wide stealthy step back to your high plank position and we'll lower halfway to Chaturanga, the elbow seal to the sides. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana, up dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing up. Send your left leg all the way up, bend your knees, stack your hips, send the left toes towards the right shoulder, circle off the ankle, fan your toes apart. And then deliver your left knee to your right tricep, engaging your obliques. Left leg goes back up into the air. Take your left knee to your left tricep, option for that arm balance. Down dog, split the leg lifts. Step the left foot forward in between your hands. Inhale, find your high lunge position. Go ahead and wrap your right arm underneath your left arm. And then wrap your right leg over your left leg. The higher you cross with the thighs, the easier it is to get that double wrap. That's just the direction of movement. It doesn't matter if you're there. Nicely done, friends. Shape shift into your Ardha Chandrasana. Stacking the hips right on high. Extend evenly in all four directions. And then stealthy step back. Warrior reverse. Straighten your left leg. Rise up to neutral spine, arms in a T-shape. Trikonasana, the triangle, shift it back, back, back. Left hand, shin, right arm all the way up. Go ahead and sweep the right arm in front of the body as you rotate the left toes in to face the right. Again, an excellent shape to explore upside down life. Feel everything, force nothing. Skandasana to the right, bend your right knee, drop hip to heel. Try to keep your chest uplifted as you switch sides. Low lunge facing the top of your space, step back to your plank position. Exhale, lower Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Good 
Inhale, roll forward to your plank position. Let's come to a forearm plank. Stay here or drop right hip down and tap your mat and then send the hips over to the left. Rainbow arc all the way up and over to the right. Over to the left. Back and forth at your own pace. One more time, each side. Coming back to forearm plank pose, drop your hips and spine to sphinx pose. Elbows drag back, heart forward. Adduct shoulder blades. Good, take left hand to left elbow, bend the right leg, touch hold of the foot. Feel free to flip the grip so that the fingers and the toes are pointing the same direction. Keep pressing the right hip down. Release and switch sides. Release your left shin back down. Lay the body down, interlace the fingers to the base of your spine, setting up for Shalavasana and the locust pose. Inhale, lift up, press the hips and the low belly down. Take the fists up off your tush. Lift here, use the breath, keep getting bigger here. Stay three, stay two, and one, let it go. Let your face rest on one cheek, the arms by your side. Oh. All right, my friends, we've got another round. This time we're gonna come into the floor bow. Bend your legs, catch hold of the tops of your feet. As you're ready, kick your shins back, lift your chest up. So the weight is on the hips and the low belly. Actively press the shins further back. And then let it go. Face resting on the opposite cheek, arms by your sides. Hmm, hmm. Good, hands under shoulders, tuck the toes under. Press down to rise up straight as a board, you're back to plank position. Go ahead, send your hips all the way up, downward facing dog. Right leg goes all the way up, bend your knee and stack your hip. Go ahead and flip your dog or stay here, totally up to you. Hips rise. Take your right hand down, fall in triangle, right knee, left tricep. Shoot the leg all the way out to the left, the left arm goes up. And then drop your butt down, friends. Walk the arms forward in between split legs. Roll the arms back up. We're gonna come back out the way we came in, hands outside edge, right leg, back toes tucked. Right leg goes up and through. Right foot between hands, back heel spins down, warrior one. So we've done a lot of high lunges to educate square hips. Keep pulling the right hip back and the left hip forward. Spin your inner left thigh up. As you're ready, interlace fingers behind your back. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, devotional warrior. Imagine one day that you would snake your neck behind the right ankle. And you, if you can, you're welcome to. That would probably require taking the hands down and a lot of flexibility. Not in my practice, but it might be in your body.
We'll release the hands down and we'll find a lizard pose, toe heel, right foot outside edge mat. So take it as you like it. You're welcome to keep the back leg engaged. You're welcome to drop the left thigh down, the knee down, and come onto forearms, maybe moving into a quad stretch as you backstroke the right arm and catch hold of the left foot, pull it in towards your seat. My friends, we'll meet again in a forearm plank pose. So if you have the left foot, go ahead and let it go. And then curl the left toes under, find your way into your forearm plank pose as you set up for dolphin. Walk the feet up, lift your hips up. Stay here or explore pincha mayurasana. You might explore scorpion style with a back bend, or you might take it into a hollow back variation. We'll meet together in a child's pose. You're welcome to let the arms rest by your sides. You're welcome to let the arms extend long in front of you. Child's pose. Take this time to feel. Fastest way to freedom is to feel our feelings. That means be mommy and daddy to yourself. That means welcome what's here. Stay out of the story. Invite the emotion. Emotion, right? It's, it's an energy, it's a, it's a movement. Let it come and go. Welcome it. Friends, when you're ready, we'll come back into a downward facing dog position. And reach your left leg all the way up. Bend the knees, stack your hips. Hang out here or flip the dog as you land with the left foot on the ground behind you. Lift your hips and your heart. Let your head go all the way back. Left hand down, left knee, right tricep. Shoot the leg out to the right. Reach the right arm all the way up. Drop your tush. Crawl your arms out. And that's enough. Crawl the arms back up. Hands outside edge, left leg. Curl the right toes under. Send the left leg back up and through down dog slit. We'll step the left foot forward in between your hands. Drop the back heel down and the arms rise again. Here of a drops in a one. Warrior one. Interlace fingers behind back. This time the funny feeling way. Inhale, straight the legs, square the hips, square the hips, square the hips. Exhale, rebend, devotional warrior. Heavy the head. Again, you might explore working the neck behind the left ankle, taking the hands down and around that ankle. Otherwise, this is a lot. <laughs> Your body, your practice, your time. Okay, release your hands down. Toe heel, left foot to the outside edge of your mat. Back toes engage. Fire up the back thigh or drop the leg down. Find your lizard pose, your variation. Feel everything, force nothing. You might backstroke the left arm to catch hold of the right foot. Mm. 
My friends, go ahead and release the right foot down. And we're gonna come back through forearm plank position. You can stay here, or crawl the legs back up. We're gonna do one more round. Repetition allows us to go deeper. Pausing in your dolphin pose, or again, exploring the pinch of my rest in the forearm stand. If that's like not that interesting, you wanna to go to headstand, you're welcome to. Again, we'll meet in the child's pose. Take your time to get there. Letting the head rest in the third eye, the space between the eyebrows, and invite an activation there, a sense of your inner knowing, your inner guides, seat of intuition. We have all the skills that we need inside. As you're ready, friends, come up onto hands and your knees and go ahead and reach your right arm all the way up, stack the shoulders. And then slide the right arm underneath your left arm. You can step the left foot out to its own side and wrap the left arm behind the back. Set your own frequency. Let it be bigger than the news and social media. Connect with nature more, with your own nature, with the nature around you, the trees, the ocean, whatever is available. Frequency of life. Go ahead, take your left hand and knee back down and send the right arm all the way up. Drop your right hand back down and we'll switch sides as the left arm goes high. Stack shoulders, look up. Slide the left arm underneath the right arm. Step the right foot out to its own side. Wrap the right arm behind the back. Hook it in towards your left hip. And then go ahead and release, take the right hand and the right knee back down, reach your left arm all the way up. Take your left hand down, tuck the toes under, down dog. Rise high onto the toes, bend the knees, hop into a seated position. And then go ahead and hug the right calf in towards your chest. You can stay here, or you might work the, the right foot back by your ear. Like in the phone, hello. <laughs> and then you might catch hold of the outside edge of the right foot with your left hand, and then see if you can work it over the shoulder for compass pose. Anywhere along that trajectory is a great place to stop. You can bend the knee again. You can explore Ostrovacrasana if you want. So take the hand down and then you would cross your left ankle over your right ankle. And then it's a shift and a lift as you find the arm balance. That's enough, drop your tush back down. Huh. Roll out the shoulder, moving your way. That helps you neutralize a bit before we get into the left side. Ah, oh. beautiful yogis. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All of you for being such beautiful mirrors, for showing up and creating space together. 
as you get. Go ahead and take the left calf in towards your chest, like you're cradling a baby. And that, that kind of energy, like, you know, I was FaceTiming with my brother yesterday, I was seeing my niece, she's a little baby. Oh, my heart melts. Like, be that kind of love for yourself. Like, show up that way to you. As you're ready, see if you can work the, the left knee behind the shoulder and pull the, the left foot in towards your ear. Like, hello, hello. I'm working this phone here, trying to figure it out. <laughs> Earth to self. Good. And you can stay here or you can keep that shin drawn in or you might catch hold of the outside edge of the left foot with the right hand and moving into that compass position. Lift the sternum, keep getting tall here. Ah, oh. good, let it go. And then one more time, we're gonna come into an arm balance. So you can hook your left leg over the arm. So just needs to get up to the upper arm, take the left hand and cross the right ankle over the left ankle, and then shift and lift as you take flight here. Ah. Oh. Let it go whenever you're ready. Oh, okay, go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together, your knees out wide, and squeeze the calves in towards your thighs and the sides of your buttocks. Draw the knees a little bit closer to the ground. Lift your heart up. Go ahead and forward fold. Go ahead and crawl the arms back up. Send your legs out long and shake them out, shake them out. Move the fleshy bit of the buttocks back. So it's nice and tall in the sitting bones. Flex the toes towards the shins. Arms rise and forward fold. So if you're all listening to the playlist, the song now is Trevor Hall, Forgive. When we're angry, it's toxic for us. And of course you can't bypass it, right? You have to sometimes get to get through the fuck you on your way into forgiveness. So it's like to forgive our, our governments for not being prepared, for to forgive ourselves for the ways in which we manage or mismanage certain emotions, to be in a practice of forgiveness for the people that we think have hurt us, understanding that like, we're all doing our best. And forgive, right? We were speaking earlier this morning about the power of giving, like it gets us out of ego, out of our own man-made suffering that people in privilege often create, and that's real. But like forgive, like give it, give it, give it, and trust that you'll get in return. Go ahead and rise back up. Lay down on your backs, and then draw your knees in towards your chest and give yourself a big hug big hug thank you thank you thank you you thank yourselves for showing up for doing this practice and then my friends go ahead and find happy baby pose catch hold of the outside edges of both your feet stack your ankles up over your knees Forgive yourself. And coming back to this oneness, like feel into the vast and varied landscapes that live inside. Draw your knees back in towards your chest and then let both of them fall over to the right and look left.
Go ahead and switch sides. Invite both of your knees back in towards your chest. And if you need to go upside down, shoulder stand or headstand as a final closing, you're welcome to do it. If so, please be sure to take the counter stretch for shoulder stand, it would be Matsi Andrasana, the fish pose. For headstand, it would be Balasana. We've certainly done plenty of things. If you're ready, come to lay down on your backs. Shavasana. In this time, I've been tasking myself to get outside, to be in nature, to walk on the ocean. And typically when I walk along Venice Beach and I see garbage, I just throw it away, grab it. I'm a little extra concerned these days to touch things. But I've always known that the reason why the beaches are polluted is because people are disconnected from their own hearts. So let us connect deeply, deeply, deeply with our hearts such that our vibration, our frequency is one that is inspiring others to connect with theirs. To know that whatever healing you do personally belongs to a collective, that we are not separate. And doing the work daily to clean the internal ecosystem. And then to practice forgiveness in the humanness. Let your body rest. Take the next couple of minutes just to rest. Let it be. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yogis, invite your next breath in a little bit deeper. And softly, sweetly wiggle your fingers and your toes. Go ahead and send the arms up over your head. Take a nice big stretch wherever you are. And just feel the gift of life that courses through your veins and your blood. The gift. You're part of this whole thing. Always have been, always will be. Go ahead and roll over onto the right side. You can use the right arm as a cushion for your head.
strength of your left hand. Gently press yourself back up to a comfortable seated position. And you're welcome to keep the eyes closed, attention drawn inward as you fold your palms together at your heart center. And, and bowing in your gratitude towards the light, the love, the wisdom that lives within each and every one of your hearts. Let it you in all that you do. The word namaste means the light in me honors the light in you. And I certainly do. Yogi's namaste. And take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Thank you. So if you'd like, we can just sit for a couple minutes quietly together. And the playlist is designed such that the music would work well to continue if you want to listen to it that way. But let's just sit if you'd like, and you're certainly welcome to, to jump off the call. But we've worked a lot and let's just take a couple extra minutes to breathe together. So again, finding a comfortable seat. If you like, shoulders stacked over hips, broaden the space across your chest. And with all the work that you've done to create a widening in your ecosystem, just allow yourself to appreciate the seeds that you've planted and let them flower. Take the next four minutes and you're welcome to keep the music playing as you just breathe into you. And you're certainly welcome as well to rest one hand on your heart in a gesture of solidarity and friendliness with yourself, kindness and love. Attend and befriend to the life that's here. The fastest way to freedom is to feel your feelings, to let them crash against your shore.
Beautiful. Go ahead and flutter your eyes open if they're closed. And I'm uh, happy to answer any questions or dialogue about anything if, if that would be supportive. Otherwise, have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you, guys. Mm.